Wow. What a fucking week. Fight announcement, drama, back and forth, music videos dropping, chaos, people getting roasted, uh, controversies, the whole fucking nine yards. As you guys saw, the fight between me and Nate Robinson got announced on the undercard of Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. First of all, what the fuck? It is such an honor to be a part of that. I'm so excited to be able to display my boxing ability. You guys know I've been working hard. You know I've been training. You know how much I love the sport of boxing. Nate and I have been doing a bunch of press phone calls, so the hype has been building, and uh, he's a little shit talker, man. He's He's got a mouth on him. All right, hurry up, Jake. You're wasting my time, bro. I got shit to do. Like what? Be, be retired from the NBA? This is the only fucking yeah, thing Yeah, man. Being retired after 11 years. This is the only years. thing you have going for you. Don't see me, you don't see me you piggybacking off of like, I'm like a doctor with the shock paddles reviving your career right, right now. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know, you, you know what it is. Matt Barnes in the building. He said, oh, happy brother on too, bum. <laughs> I wish I knew who all these old people were. He said he wish he knew who all these <laughs> old people <laughs> were. <laughs> Just be ready, man. I'm going to let him talk all his trash. I'm going to see him September 12th. That's all I need to say. When the bell rings, don't look away. Don't be on your phone. Don't, I know. Don't, don't be dipping your chips into the guacamole at the party that you're at because this fight's going to be over fast. Woo, your boy is so ready. I'm amped up. September 12th, Thriller Vids, be ready. I'm currently in training camp right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is why we're fucking in this house. I'm locked away training my ass off. This by far will be one of the biggest sport events of the year. Everyone is already talking about it. Sports Center, ESPN, Barstool Sports, KSI is talking about it, Vidal, Face, Sensei, all the YouTubers. For me, this is no different than the last fight. I came in, I said what I was gonna do, I called it out as I was walking into the arena. First round. Good, good, good. First round. I called it out the night before the fight. I said first round, and I think this fight is not gonna be any different than that. I've been training, and this is something I'm taking seriously. I took a look at Nate Robinson training. Uh, here, here it is. Right hook. Left, 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 right? Yep, yep, right. Two jabs, right hand, left hook. Yes, sir! He definitely seems like he has some speed, he has some athleticism, he has some movement. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can't you can't learn to fight in a month and a half, and that's all he has. So mark your calendar, September 12th, be ready. I'm just, I'm not impressed. He's not, like he just looks stiff, fam. He's not rotating the body, it's just, oh. Jay's gonna fucking win this. Jay's gonna fucking win this. Uh, I'm gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. I, I don't like making these videos. I'm not good at making these videos. Ah, fuck. However, there's been so much back and forth, bullshit, lies being told, drama, egos, and it's time to just talk about it. I don't like to highlight the negative stuff or talk about it like I said. So first and foremost, I want to thank everyone who has watched the video, who has supported the song, who has saved it to their Spotify and Apple Music. The link is in the description if you guys want to save the song. Run up the streaming numbers, run up the views. The song is going crazy, dude. Like for the amount of views it's gotten in the short amount of time, like I I'm I I just want to say thank you. The feedback I've gotten is incredible, and even KSI himself is like blown away. Like, oh, what the fuck? No competition, can't listen, ain't talking about shit. I'm lit. They know it. They want to. Why is this all right? Why is this all right? Why does this actually sound all right? There's something up. There's something up. Flow wise, like the lyrics, everything. Bro, I'm comparing this to his previous music. <laughs> It's a huge change. It's a huge change. What? Down to some reaction channels reacting to the song. I watched a couple of them and their reactions are fire. So thank you guys. I'm going to put some of my favorite reactions links in the description so you can check those out. Still got an axe and crew like a palace. I took her the best as if he wanna feel. Yo, Jake is interesting to see because you, you see how he grown, you know, from a little Disney character kid to, you know, the, the person we see it right now. Okay, hold on. This nigga low key. This is why in the beginning I said I respect this dude. He's like me. He ha he sets a goal. He sets a dream. He goes out and he does that shit. He's gotten way better. What was that song he came out? It's every day, bro. Oh my god, that shit was cringy and disgusting. But look at this now. He continued to get better and better. Yeah, like partial. Need the whole back end. Fresh out of London. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. What's going on here in 2020? I'm legit shook because it's just like his delivery is on point. Now listen, I'm basing this off of the music itself. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but I like it. 
I'm sorry, but I like it. This is probably the best thing I've ever heard come out of this man, bro. If Jake Paul keeps putting music out like this, I will listen to Jake Paul. No cap. I, I will listen to Jake Paul. This is good. <laughs> Bro, I don't care with nobody's song. This song fire, bro. Check up that dope. <laughs> Fuck. I've been putting in the work in the studio for about a year now, down in my basement, just hustling, getting better, making dozens and dozens and dozens of songs. So finally, for a song to be put out and to receive the love that it's gotten, it's just like an amazing feeling. And I want to thank you guys. There's more to come. I have some exciting songs in the stash. I have some exciting features and music videos. So stay tuned. However, the negative side of all this is, well, the negative side. If you don't know what happened, KSI went on Twitter about two days before the songs came out and turned me and him dropping songs on the same day into a competition. He's like, who's going to sound better? I wonder who's going to get more views. Laughing emoji. Ha 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 ha. Immediately he turns it into a competition. I say, I wish you the best of luck. He says, fuck off or fuck you. I personally didn't think mine was going to get more views. KSI KSI is crushing it right now, and his YouTube videos are doing numbers. You have to give credit where credit's due. But once KSI basically told me to fuck off after I said, I wish you the best of luck, it kind of got personal for me, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, I fuck this guy. <laughs> so we put out our songs, and after about 24 hours, 36 hours, my video is doing better than his. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. He wanted to make this a competition. He wanted to basically say that my songs are shitty. He wants to like talk all of this shit. I'm gonna rub it in his face that I got more views than him. I don't always start battles, but I'll finish them if need be. So obviously KSI, as a 27 year old, is sitting over there in the UK after starting a competition with me and then losing a competition to me, a 23 year old who hasn't put out nearly as much music as him. He's gonna be fucking pissed. So in his head, of course, he needs to find an excuse. He needs to find a way out of this. He starts to say, oh, my song is getting more streams than yours. Oh, you didn't write your music. You clearly didn't write this. This is okay, but like you didn't write this. So it doesn't even matter if you got more views than me. Totally backtracking, totally trying to like pull himself out of the situation and not make himself look dumb. A lot of people reacting to the song. That's all they kept on saying. Oh, he has a ghostwriter. He has a ghostwriter. Jake Paul couldn't write this. And to that, I say suck a cock <laughs> in the nicest way possible. Uh, like if people can't do something or if people don't believe that you can do something, they just w will make up anything or say anything to make people believe that you didn't do it or you can't do it. Let's look at the facts. Because people started putting out false information on Genius, this website that isn't credible for actually songwriting credits because anybody can change who wrote the song and add false information into the website to make it seem like someone else wrote the song or someone else even produced the song. You can literally add anything into this website and change it manually, which 44 different people have added shit, changing the credits, changing who wrote the song, changing the producer's name. The video that I'm about to play for you shows that people on my song were manually entering information into the writer section. Then we can see which dumb fuck edited with this. Watch this. This means deleted. So they deleted him. This is the first edit. Joey McNugget B, designer. People think that because designer made a cameo in my music video that he wrote the song. Let me remind you that me and him threw a giant party together and we've been friends for years. And he's always come over to my parties and that day we had a party that people came to and he just happened to be there and he's like, yo, I'm gonna jump in the music video. That's literally fucking it. He even put on his story that he didn't write the song. I DM'd him because I was like, yo, this shit's pissing me off. Like, and obviously people would be like, oh, you guys like planned that so that he wrote those DMs back to you. Like, no, I don't need to fucking do that. And by the way, people in the music industry use writers like it's not a sh shameful thing to use writers but if I wrote something and I work hard on something and I've been down in my studio busting my ass every day for the past fucking year and I do something good I'm gonna take fucking credit for that if people are gonna try and strip me of my talents and basically say other people are the reason I'm doing good then like fuck you that's why I'm pissed off about this because if I did something then I did something. If I didn't do something, then I don't need to take credit for it. I have enough accomplishments, accolades. I don't need to like fake shit. The sad reality of what's happening here is people can't believe that I actually like made a good song and so they're finding any excuse to discredit it, especially after my video got more views than KSI's. Of course, he's going to try to make some shit up, make it seem like, oh, well, yeah, he didn't even fucking do that. So like, I'm still better. That's what all that he's trying to do here. And if you go to a credible source like Spotify, where the song credits are legit and people can't edit that them actually who wrote the song. Go into my song, or if you go into ASCAP, these, these credible sources, it clearly shows writer, Jake Paul, 
That's fucking it. Hisai in his video goes to pull up the website, acts like it's not loading, like the actual credible website. He acts like it's not loading. Is the website down or something? And then puts up a fucking screenshot from who the fuck knows where of the genius website, which again, anyone can add any information to showing that like designer and, and it was produced by Joey McNugget. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Also, some of you guys might not know this, but in real songwriting credits, it lists your, your writer's name by your legal name. If you go to one of KSI's songs, it's like Olin Tunji Gushi Buchi Wuchi, whatever his real name is under the song credit. So if designer would have actually written my song, the credits would have said his legal name, which is Sidney Selby. It wouldn't say his artist name. So for example, if you go and look up designer's most viewed song, which is Panda, that he wrote, it says written by Sidney Selby. It doesn't say written by designer because in writer's credits, they have to list your legal name. I think also KSI is projecting here. He's projecting his emotions because when when you go to KSI's songs and you go to his song credits on credible sources, there's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to nine writers sometimes on his song. Here's like multiple different examples. Nine people, five people, seven people helping him write these songs. So I think it's like this insecurity that he has where he has all these people helping to make music and it still sucks. Then I make something good and he's just gonna be like, oh, he didn't write that because maybe he feels like upset because he doesn't write his own music. And so he's projecting here. But again, I'm not even trying to hate on KSI for not writing his own music because a lot of artists in the music industry don't write their own music. It's very rare for an artist to actually write all of their own music. It's okay to work with writers. I've worked with writers before. Sometimes it can be helpful. Sometimes it can mess up the creative process and they might not have the same vision as you. So it goes both ways. The comparison I make is like, why is it bad for a musician to have a writer when if you are watching a movie, the actors are saying lines that someone else wrote for them. Wrote for them? Wrote for them wrote for them but if I did write something and half the internet's trying to say I didn't, I'm just not gonna sit here and like let that be the narrative of what's going on. I have more music coming out very shortly that's even harder than the song I just put out. People will start to realize this kid is actually like taking this music shit seriously and then I'll probably get some respect. But if I wrote something, then I wrote something. But with all that said, let's take a look at KSI's verse on this song. I'm feeling so good like a fat man would at Beijing. In his song that he put out, it says something like, I've been to war, I got a purple heart. I said, I said to myself, you got a purple heart? You talking about the award given to wounded or killed soldiers in the United States military? Yeah. yeah. Mm. It, where, and, and just, where's the authenticity? The, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. Either my space, time, recovery, now man's ace. Quit, summary, new discovery, losing that weight. Post on the ground, cause I'm just great. I'm way too slick with it. John Wick with it. I'm taking best shots and equipment it. More it's just not it. Like, it just it just falls flat for me, you know? Like, it, it seems like he went into the studio, recorded one one verse in probably like an hour, and just ran with it. But it's no, there's no creativity, there's no lyricism. What does he say here? I'm way too slick with it. Crown, KSI verified. KSI verified. To really rap, to rap about being verified. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's just very basic. It's it's not bad. It's not good. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's like what people obviously are expecting me to say or, or think I'm just saying it just to say that. I, I genuinely, if he makes a good song, I will save that motherfucker in my Spotify library and bump that shit. For real. Like, I mean that. He just ha hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't done that. I think there's this weird disconnect between UK music and US music. So maybe this is considered good in the UK. I, I don't know. The one thing you can't hate on though, is the fact that KSI does get numbers. And again, I will say like he has a strong fucking fan base. The people that are watching this, this video right now, like I'm not hating on that. He does numbers and numbers are a large part of music. That's where I give him props. Like you can't hate on that. It's been a crazy week. A lot of this drama has taken place on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Jake Paul. I don't know if this drama is going to continue. I don't know what to make of all of it. Stream fresh out of London. I'm going to put all the links in the description. Watch the music video. Save it to your Apple Music. Save it to your Spotify. Be ready for new music coming soon. I'm in training camp. I'm going hard. September 12th. Be fucking ready. I love you guys. Peace out. I don't out. need new friends. I don't like fake friends. Only here to make ends. Call when they check in. Check I don't in. like partial. Need the whole back end. Fresh out of London. She still got an axe to the crib.